Over the last few years, there's been a massive shift in the amount of data being produced. The GDPR will focus heavily on protecting individuals and their data. In our constantly expanding digital world, the GDPR will strengthen consumer privacy rights and clear up any uncertainty over the consent needed for using your customer's data. In the UK, businesses will still have to comply with the GDPR because they interact with EU organisations and use the data of EU citizens. There'll be a wider definition of personal data. This will now include things like IP address, name, address and contact details. Data subjects, that's your diners, will have more rights. These rights can be separated into three key areas. Consent, right of access and the right to be forgotten. Let's start with consent. You need to sort out your privacy policy if you haven't done so already. I know it's a faff and no one reads it, but diners give their personal information to you so they can make a booking. This exchange of information is sealed when a diner agrees with the venue's privacy policy. If you're drafting your privacy policy, make sure you include what kind of personal information is used, how long you keep it for, who else you share it with, and how you store it, such as a lovely restaurant reservation system like Res Diary. If you need a hand with your privacy policy, we made a standard one that any venue could use. Take a look at our GDPR resources section of our website. You may have heard that the pre-ticked marketing opt-ins of the past have gone too. Don't just assume everyone wants to hear from you. Humans have to tick that box. Make sure this consent is clear and specific. You don't want someone emailing you asking, why am I getting an email for this? That's the last thing you need. So you've got GDPR compliant data from your customers. That's great, but it doesn't last forever. Personal information should only be used for the purpose of that booking, so it's best to set up a retention policy. More on this later. In terms of marketing, make sure you refresh your opt-ins on a regular basis. Next up is right of access. Diners can ask to see all information that a venue has on them and see it in a free electronic format. No one likes being forgotten. However, diners can now request to be forgotten. They can ask for their data to be deleted. So as a venue, you'll need to make sure you delete any data you hold on them if they ask you to. There's two different types of people involved in data. The data controller determines the purposes and means of processing personal data. Meanwhile, the data processor is responsible for processing personal data on behalf of a controller. When bookings are made for a restaurant using Res Diary technology on any other digital platforms via the resdiary.com portal or the Res Diary Now app, then the venue or partner is responsible for tracking marketing preferences and is data controller. And if you're a data controller, you are responsible for that data. So if a diner contacts a venue and wants their personal data deleted, then you must delete it. If a diner wants to delete their resdiary.com profile, then they must get in contact with Res Diary. This will affect all companies that process data of EU citizens, regardless of whether or not they reside in the EU. 